looks so dark. I think it looked dark just a second ago. It just looks right down here. Mm hmm. Swear. I know. I know. Y'all get tired of hearing about it, but maybe I will spend, maybe I'll do a Facebook Live giving you a tour of our place. That way, so I can show you why lighting is such a pain in my rear end. Because I just turned everything on. Everything looked great, but it looks all dark and weird down here on this half. It didn't a little while ago. I don't know why. Hey, Bethany. And my light is feeling really hot all of a sudden. I hope it's not about to die. Hi, mom. If you see Janelle Heard Stevenson, that is my mom. Yep. So anyway, hope y'all had a great weekend. Um, so I'm sorry that lighting is cuckoo. Maybe it looks fine. Does it look fine on your end? To me, it looks dark. Like it looks fine, chest and above. It looks a little bit darker down this way. So I don't know what the issue is. Yeah, anyway, it's forever an issue. So maybe one night, yes, I will do a tour of our place and show you how crummy it is for lighting. <sighs> anyway, how was your weekend? Hope it was good. We didn't do much. We, um, I, I mean, I'm, I don't want to say that we went all the way to the other side of town because when you've lived in Birmingham and it literally took you 30 minutes at the least to go into, um, I mean, I lived in Calera, which was about 20 minutes outside of um, Hoover. Um, it would take at the least 30 minutes to get into town and um, yeah it takes about 10 minutes to get to the other side of town here so I don't want to say that it's like Ooh, it took us forever to get to the other side of town but no we um, went Saturday afternoon to run some errands on the other side of town like I said 10 minutes away we actually prefer the Walmart on the other side of town we picked up a um, bag of our dog's food from the vet. We have a high maintenance dog. Our high maintenance dog requires prescription dog food. We can only get it from the vet. So every month and a half, we have to go to the vet to get our dog some food. Every month and a half, 81 or 80 to $85 for a bag of food. But guess what? His allergies are okay, so whatever. <laughs> yes, next Monday is going to be a fun one. I'm going to go ahead and apologize. Of course, I will apologize again next week. That um, yes, I like to I like to keep these things underneath 30 minutes, but y'all already know that I tend to talk a lot and once I start talking, it just keeps going and going and going. So I'm pretty sure that having a special guest along with me will um, make it go even more. And if all goes as planned, Philip, my husband, will be here as well. With him being the boss, there's no telling, he may end up having to work, but maybe he will be here as well and maybe he will be playing like my videographer or something. He'll be the one like getting video of what we're doing. So yes, next Monday night, next Monday night, special guest. It's going to be a fun DIY project. And um, yeah, it'll be fun. If you are friends with me on my personal page, you already know who this guest is. So, it's exciting. I'm super excited. And, um, yeah. There you go. Okay. Tonight, 
It is National Ice Cream Month. Today is National Ice Cream Day, National Vanilla Ice Cream Day. And I want to say that, um, like, National Chocolate Ice Cream, um, there's several holidays that kind of fall in this month with ice cream. So, I thought it would be appropriate to make an ice cream martini. And I honestly did not believe one would exist. But when I did a search, guess what? There was an ice cream sundae martini. And I'm not all for embellishing and doing all the garnishes and stuff, but this is one of those that you're like, mm, it kind of has to have it just because it's a sundae, it needs to happen. And I have already made a drink because I'm not gonna lie, one of the things I do to make this a little bit easier to um, do, because I hate public speaking, even though I am in the house all by myself, except for the dog, guess what? I am speaking to the public. So, there. This is um, Brave Juice, Bravery Juice, yeah. There you go. All right, so, tonight's martini. You need, simply, just to make the drink itself, you need whipped vodka, simple syrup and half and half and a tiny bit of grinding. To embellish it or garnish it, you also need chocolate syrup and sprinkles and vanilla ice cream. Actually, vanilla ice cream is one of the essential ingredients. So, um, I'm going to take, I um, have my chocolate syrup standing up in a glass because it is almost empty. So, I'm Take your martini glass and rim it in chocolate. And I am no bartender, so I guarantee you this is not going to turn out probably as pretty as it would had you had ordered it at a bar or something. So rim it in chocolate syrup, then dip that into sprinkles. Because sprinkles, of course, make everything better. Now, the recipe that I found said to go through and make the drink first and then put your scoop of vanilla ice cream in. But to me, it just made sense to um, rim the glass and then um, put your ice cream in first and then pour what you put in the shaker over it because if you drop a um, scoop of ice cream into whatever you mix in the shaker, guess what? It's going to splash. Maybe I'm one of those people that just thinks too logistically, but um, anyway, there you go. Vanilla ice cream in a chocolate syrup rimmed glass with sprinkles. Okay, in your shaker with ice, you are going to pour it, um, let's see, 1.5 parts of whipped vodka. 1.5 parts of whipped vodka. You're going to put a half part of simple syrup. Simple syrup, you do not have to buy it in the store. I do it because I'm lazy. Simple stir syrup is just taking equal parts of sugar and water and boiling it together to where it all melts. And that is not the lid. And um, once it melts and you're left with, it basically it looks like water, but it's um, sugar and water. Then you need two parts, half and half. One, Two, and then you need a, no, you do not need grenadine. I lied. I am sorry. I lied. It's my recipe next week. I'm thinking about that. Um, you do not need grenadine this week. So this week you just need 1.5 parts whipped vodka, half part simple syrup, and two parts half and half. Um, so you're going to mix all that up really well. You're gonna pour it over your ice cream. I'm pretty sure, well, I don't know. 
Maybe that's, I don't know if your ice cream should be sitting higher than your um, drink or whatever, but guess what? And then it says to add a cherry. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, and my cherry fell in. Because if anything's going to happen, that's what's gonna happen. So, um, hmm, there you go. Let's see how this works. You know what? Remember last week, two weeks ago, when we made the sugar cookie recipe and it turned out horribly? Guess what? This tastes like a sugar cookie. Yep. This is where it's at. It was awesome. And that ice cream melts just slowly enough that, um, yeah, it has awesome flavor to it. That is really good. Okay, so I'm sad that that's empty, but that's okay. All right, tonight, I told y'all last week I was not too thrilled with what I had planned for this evening. But if you're a parent, maybe this is one of those things that you would enjoy. Um, puff paint. You go to Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, or whatever, go to buy puff paint, and guess what? It's expensive, especially if you want more than one color. You can't buy just a tube of puff paint for like 50 cents. A tube, um, a tube of puff paint is gonna cost you $1.50, $2, and guess what? That's for one color. But I have found a way, or I found a way online for you to make it yourself. And it probably already includes the ingredients that you have in your house. And what's pretty cool about this is your kids can make it up and then they can use it themselves. So if your child can read, guess what? They can do it themselves. So it's really no involvement on your part just to make sure that um, the ingredients are there. The only thing you really, 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 really need is shaving cream and Elmer's glue. That's it. Shaving cream and Elmer's glue. You might need flour. You might. But that's just depending upon um, your shaving cream. Now, your shaving cream does need to be the actual foam, not the gel stuff that, you know, you spray and then it foams up. No, it needs to be the actual, you know, it foams immediately out of the can. So, foam and then some plain old basic Elmer's glue. All right, so, this is gonna be super, super simple. This is gonna be one of those that probably ends before, well, before 30 minute mark or whatever. You need three fourths cup of shaving cream. And of course, I don't know because it foams up exactly how you measure it correctly. And But this is one of those things that it, in general, you need three-fourths cup. You don't need exactly three-fourths cup because it is going to be um, based on the consistency that you prefer. And then you need one-fourth cup Elmer's School Glue. Do go with the plain, basic, white. I mean, if you want to, you can go with the clear, but... In my years of teaching, I've noticed that the clear tends to be um, a little stickier. It comes out, you see how this kind of just flows smoothly. The clear to me has always come out like in globs. It's just like, you couldn't get it to pour like this. It would always just like come out like in a glob at a time. It was very gross. So, preferably, go with the... Um, Plain old white um, school glue. Okay, and then you're going to mix your school glue and your shaving cream together. And you're just going to mix those really, really well together. And depending on upon your consistency is where you go next. 
Now, um, with puff paint, ideally you want to grab yourself some squeeze bottles. You can go to the dollar store and you can get the squeeze bottles that you know you would put um, ketchup, mustard, you know, various condiments in. You can get them, um, sometimes you can get them in the travel section at Walmart or whatever. So if you've got children that are crafting and they're younger and the um, squeeze bottle would be better for them, go that route. Otherwise you can use just basic, you know, paint brushes. Now this is not the consistency that I want. I want mine to be a little bit thicker because the goal is you want it to, you want to stir it up and then it create stiff peaks. The only way I can think to describe it is like if you were making meringue for a cake and you're sitting there wait while it's mixing, once that meringue starts sticking up and staying, that's what you want. Now, it says up to a fourth cup of flour. When I tried it last week, I only needed a tablespoon, maybe. So, add a small amount first and then build up. Don't add a fourth cup at first. See, it's already a little bit thicker. See, I'm going to add a little bit more. So what you're going to do is, now if you want to make a ton of puff paint with a bunch of different colors, my suggestion is to double the recipe. So you start your main recipe is three-fourths cup shaving cream, one-fourth cup Elmer's glue. If you want a ton of puff paint with a bunch of colors, double that, triple that. That way so you can um, easily divide it up. Yeah, about there or so. Add a little bit more. So all you're doing is you're adding flour to get the consistency that you want. Again, if you are putting it into squeeze bottles, be mindful of that. Um, the thicker you make it, the harder it is to squeeze out of a bottle. Either way though, it will still puff up. All right, so I'm gonna end it like that. So, okay, there we go. And then I'm going to take a couple of cups and divide this mixture. So you're making one big batch and then divide this mixture into a couple of cups. Try not to get it everywhere like I am. Now you can use food coloring or you can use acrylic paint. Now I am going to tell you if you have the choice between the two go with acrylic paint. I have used food coloring for so many crafts and it has dyed the tables, it has dyed hands, it has left a huge mess. Every time I have used acrylic paint, guess what? Even if it has dyed something, it washes away pretty quickly or it's a whole lot easier for you to um, clean up. So, like I said, you can use food coloring if you want. My preference though, acrylic paint. And then you can completely, yes, acrylic paint will not come out of clothes, but guess what? Neither will um, food coloring. I've had many a work shirts um, ruined with food coloring. <laughs> but um, here you go. With acrylic paint, you can pick whatever color you want. There's no mixing things together, you know, a couple of balls together. So I'm going to take some pink in that one. I threw a whole bunch in there. And then I'm going to put some green in this one. And then, if I were you, don't use any good um, kitchen utensils or anything. It's fine if you're just using, you know, just for the shaving cream and glue. That's fine. That washes off well. If I were you, once you start doing the food coloring and um, 
or acrylic paint or just go to a simple little tongue depressor, popsicle stick, whatever, plastic spoon. So I just mixed in my acrylic paint. Yes, like Shanna said, guess what? If, you, you, if you're doing this with your children, if your children are making this, throw a smock on them. I've shown you in the past, all you gotta do is get a great big black bag, trash bag, whatever, cut a hole for the head and some holes for the arms, throw it on there, or an old t-shirt. It's always safe, safer to you know go that route. All right, so there is my green. Here is my pink. Now, like I said, choose whatever color you want. Whatever you want to make. If you've got, um, I've got a specific thing I'm doing in mind, so it's the only two colors I'm doing. But of course, if you've got children, they will want every single color of the rainbow because that's what kids want. Yep. All right. So, with it being National Ice Cream Month and today being National Vanilla Ice Cream Day, I made this last week, just real quick, because I'm not an artist, y'all. If it takes me sitting here having to draw something, I can't do that. I can cut it out. I can craft it out of some fabric. I can craft it out of, you know, I can cut it out. I can't draw or paint. So, this is what you get. Anyway, um, I made a simple cone, ice cream cone. I just took a brown marker did a whole bunch of, you know, crisscross lines like that. And then cut out a cone shape. Boom, just like that. I'm going to use the one that I, um, well, actually, that one is a bit prettier. Shanna, guess what? If I can find my husband a job, we can make that work. I could have you as a regular on my um, Monday nights because, like I said, I, I can cut out an ice cream cone. I can't draw it. I mean, literally, I mean, it's, it, it's a weird, 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 weird thing. Yeah, super weird. All right, so I just put through a quick cone on there. Now, when it, like I said, if you want to um, do this with your children, they can use this, at that point, use the um, squirt bottles if you want. If you want to be able to get that paint into the squirt bottle, my suggestion is to throw it all into a Ziploc bag, seal it up, cut off the corner of the Ziploc bag, and then squeeze it into your squeeze bottle. All right, so there's that, and then the last thing, I mean, literally, that's their paint cups. So, with it being puff paint, let me, I mean, they can literally paint. Of course, if you just kind of blob it on, it gives a little bit more of the texture. I mean, they can, you know, smear it on if you want, but as it dries, it does, um, whatever is sticking up on the paper is going to dry that way and i'm doing this like super super quick because yep because i'm not going to waste your time trying to be an artist because i am not an artist or at least in a painting way so there's that and then So anyway, that's it. That's your do-it-yourself puff paint recipe. Three-fourths cup shaving cream, fourth cup Elmer's glue, and a little bit of flour just to get the consistency that you um, want. Then, the recipes that I found did say that you, like if you wanted to add, um, details or whatever you could take a um, another paintbrush and immediately paint like if you want chocolate chips on your ice cream you could immediately paint onto it like that 
But when I tried it last week, I did notice that the um, paint kind of spread, kind of expanded some. So my suggestion is, is paint what you want, let it dry, and then go back and add your details. So yes, happy little ice cream cones. Yes, so go back and add your details. So anyway, like I said, super simple. It keeps you from spending two bucks a tube at a craft store for puff paint. When you can spend, I want to say, and this is Walmart brand shaving foam. I only used three fourths cup of it. You can get a thing of it for less than a buck, and I'm pretty sure that you can get it at dollar store or whatever. And then right now, with all the stores having their school supplies out, school glue, super cheap. Yep, fourth cup of that, and then just a little bit of flour. I'm sure you already have flour on hand. But that's it. Like I said, super simple. This was the picture I saw that was like, huh, let me go look up puff paint. So, mm, there you go. Again, this was, I wasn't super excited about this because guess what? How often do I need puff paint? But if you're a parent and you got kids that love art, guess what? I'm sure that's something that they ask for quite often. Okay, so let me look at my notes real quick. Um, make sure I said everything I needed to say. That was because I tend to, like I said, start talking. Um, mm, yeah, that's it. That's it. So next week, I sure hope you guys will join me next week because I am super, super, super excited about it. I have um, a special guest joining me next Monday night. Hopefully, if all goes as planned, my husband, Philip, will be around as well. He may not be in front of camera. He may be playing videographer. Um, but next Monday, you may be holding on to summer. You may be hoping it falls right around the corner. We're going to make these super simple, super, super simple paper flowers. Super simple. Seriously. Um, yeah, quick and simple. And because we are in the middle of like wedding season, I found a recipe for a wedding cake martini. So next Monday night, you got me, of course. Yay, me. You've got, um, a special guest who, if you're already friends with me, you know who it is. Um, you've got hopefully my husband, Philip, and you got some cool paper flowers you can easily make. Which I'm not gonna lie, I've had this hanging up in my house for the past week and a half, two weeks, and I kind of love it. So, excellent wall art. If you are doing any kind of parties or whatever, centerpieces, lays on top of a um, cake or something, um, a big cake, whatever. But um, one of these things, I mean, so versatile. Could use it in you know, tons of places. And um, because it's wedding season, and who doesn't love cake? Wedding cake martinis. So, I sure hope you guys will join me next Monday night. So, until then, yeah, exactly on time. Two, well, two more minutes. Hope y'all have a great rest of your evening, and I will see y'all next week. Love y'all. Bye.